Hi, today we'll be seeing what perspective drawing is. You're looking at a picture, which is a real world picture, and you are perceiving things. The idea of perspective is arriving at a two-dimensional visual picture of complex three-dimensional world. The idea of perspective is attractive to us because it is a system that allows us to enclose and contain the world creating a two-dimensional scale model of reality. In fact, with the help of perspective, engineers and architects can perceive what the building would appear to be. Here you are seeing a railway track. Normally, standing on a railway track, you'll find that the two rails appear to converge at the farthest point. Now, the picture which you had seen earlier, if you try and draw rays, you'll be finding that these rays, the edges of the roads, converge to a central point called as the center of vision. Stating now, there's a picture plane wherein you draw what, whatever you see. The horizon line, which you was the farthest most, a ground plane, GP, station point where one actually stands, a ground line, the center line of vision, and the center of vision where all the rays were concentrating. To put it in a pictorial form, you have the picture plane PP, which is just perpendicular to a person standing on. You have the ground plane on which the person is standing, the station point on which the person is exactly standing. From there you have rays drawn from the eyes to the eye level if you draw straightly and cut it at the eye level you'll be finding that the center line vision would be there and the CV would be drawn. Now drawing a perspective consider a plan. A plan which is just a simple rectangular block. Now, if this plan, we have a picture plane just abutting one of its place. Now, once the picture plane is abutting this particular place, then we have to consider the elevation. Now, elevation normally is on the ground line. On the ground line, the elevation has, in this case, a height h. A height h. Now we will be standing somewhere at a distance of three times the height and that is the station point. Now from the station point we can draw rays to all the corners of the rectangular block. Now once these rays are drawn to all the corners of the rectangular block then we can drop perpendiculars from the picture plane to the ground line for the corner 1, for the corner 2 and wherever the line drawn from station point intersects the line at the picture plane from there we drop another perpendiculars to the picture plane. Drop perpendiculars to the ground line. Now these perpendiculars when they are dropped down to the ground line we we'll have to get to the height being transferred to the perpendiculars which have been dropped from the picture plane towards the ground line. This will we'll be getting two height that's h. Now once this is found we can get the eye level and select what we call it as a vanishing point the center of vision. From center of vision draw rays of the true height converging towards the vanishing point. The left right side corner can be seen the rays being converged. Similarly, the right side corner you can see the rays being converged towards the vanishing point. Now this gives us the height edges, the left edge as well as the right edge of the rectangular block. Similarly, we can get the top edge and the bottom edge but just simply joining the two corners. So we get the face of the rectangular block. Again we draw rays converging towards the vanishing point. The right edge being converged 
we get the right side face the top edge being converged we get the top side face just these rays cutting the picture plane uh, rays drawn from the picture plane you will be getting the farthest edges the farthest edge of the rectangular block similarly you will be getting the rightmost edge accordingly at the farthest edge of the object and this in one form will be getting the complete perspective view of the whole object and this with rendering can be seen as such. can be seen as an object which can be viewed as a three dimensional thing in reality now what happens if the object is away from the picture plane here you are seeing the object the same object the picture plane slightly shifted here the trick is that the object or the perspective which is going to come is going to be away from the ground line thus what we see as true height would be the factor uh, to be considered to the greatest extent similarly from true height you have to draw rays towards the vanishing point and once the rays are drawn towards the vanishing point the whole thing is similar to what you have done in the earlier stage